Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. That is crazy. One thing I can say about Josh is that his woeful misunderstanding of the legal system is a wealth of comedy potential. So, story time. In light of experiencing the harsh and severe punishment of fuck all for his endorsement of a pedophile, Josh just cannot abide the indignity of being mocked and belittled on the internet with no tangible consequences being thrown his way. So I woke up to this. This is real. And it's beautiful. Josh is attempting to file a cease and desist order against my criticism, but doesn't seem to understand what a cease and desist order is or what it's for. This isn't a court order or copyright or trademark notification. It's just a Google doc that he linked me to. It's not even printed off. He wants me to do that, the lazy little cock. It would seem that the whole process of flooding brony D&D &D and dislikes did exactly what it was supposed to do and pissed the little coward off. This cease and desist order is to inform you that your persistent actions, including but not limited to twisting my words, and speaking lies about my conversation with Patrick Hart, the conversation you can listen to right now, and which I was a part of, deliberately and maliciously placing calls reasonably expected to be in private in a public sphere for the intent of defamation. There was no expectation of privacy. Me and Josh never once spoke before the recording. That recording is the only time Josh has spoken a direct word to me in the last year and a half. Absolutely nothing about this call being private was in any way agreed upon or expected. Using your fan base and friends to send repeated and unrelenting harassment and false flag by videos or videos I worked in, especially the Brony D and D videos as shown below. This is something Josh is guilty of on numerous occasions, but apparently it's different now that the target is himself. Josh goes on to accuse me of threatening physical harm, and then linking to a Tumblr post where I use the metaphor of holding a gun to his head, which any idiot would understand as a metaphor, but then again, Josh was raised in a conservative household, so I guess language skills are a globalist conspiracy. He claims that I threatened to kill him, and then links to two posts where I tell him to drop dead, and doesn't seem to realize that those are not the same thing. He claims I'm guilty of repeated and relentless use of ad hominem attacks against me in public settings, which isn't a crime and isn't even a moral transgression. His link to this is of me comparing him to Hydra Cap. The last one, however, is definitely the best one. He claims I'm stealing his ideas to spite him, and then makes reference to the video every MLP episode reviewed in 10 words or less. You know, the idea that both of us stole from Jello Apocalypse. I think that since Josh has made plagiarism the core of his brand for so long, he legitimately thinks he owns the things he steals. Or maybe he's just salty that I'm better at it than he is. He then proceeds to try and cite Canadian criminal code, but once again doesn't seem to understand what he's actually citing. He cites section 264 of the Criminal Code of Canada, which reads as follows. Criminal harassment consists of causing someone to feel threatened, does not need to be intentional, including repeatedly communicating with someone, causing them to feel threatened, again, unsafe or fear for the safety of others, and such things as uttering threats and stalking. Now, where Josh fucks up is that I haven't actually uttered any threats or given him any reason to feel threatened for the safety of his person, and the most I've admitted to is making the process of uploading all of his brony D&D videos until Zach's removal as exhausting as possible. Flooding a video in dislikes and negative comments is not actually criminal harassment, and Josh knows this because he's tried to do this on multiple occasions. Also, Josh, you know you can turn both of those things off, right? Right? Or are you just too proud to do that? He then claims he has the right to remain free from negative blowback for his actions, which he doesn't. He's also claimed that he's heard about me spreading false and destructive rumors about him, those rumors being that he bullied Patch into relenting about Brony D&D, &D, which he did, that he said wildly racist things when I was working for him, and me stopping him from doing that was the reason he fired me, that I said he was a fake Marine, which I didn't actually say, and my actual statement was that his lack of experience in the military from his entry-level position cast his words in severe doubt, and that he was a fake Christian. Burner is a conservative, which is the antithesis of Christian values. He then says that I must immediately stop any and all mention of him or projects that he is involved in. This right here betrays the real reason for doing this. You see, Josh hasn't actually suffered any damages from any of this. He claims he's going to seek monetary damages, but those monetary damages amount to fuck all. He's shown only growth over the last few months and has only had to endure the indignity of being mocked for his stupidity. His reputation only suffers in the eyes of people who give a shit it, and it's the brony community, so that isn't much. This is another example of Josh not being able to abide consequences.
consequences, even trivial, inconsequential consequences. I've talked about it before, but Josh can't handle the fact that his actions have consequences and he desperately needs to find some way to refuse to change his behavior and have nobody complain about it. That's what Josh believes he's entitled to, to do what he wants and nobody can say boo to him. It's part of the right-wing fantasy of taking no responsibility for his actions that repeatedly shatters when he has to interact with other human beings. I don't believe I will ever see the inside of a courtroom over this. That carries too much of a risk to Josh himself. He seems to think that this will not be fought, that he can file a defamation suit and immediately win. But the reality is that this will most definitely be fought, especially since Josh has actually tried to defame me numerous times, going as far as to distribute child pornography on Twitter that he grabbed from likely any random story off film fiction and claiming Lily made that, trust me. Josh, you have spent your whole life hiding from consequences. I would love to let this go to a courtroom and become the consequences. But I doubt that this will actually happen. Here's what I think will actually happen. Josh will hastily backpedal from this, or the reality of filing a spurious lawsuit will scare him off, and he'll make a show about dropping the charges and turning the other cheek in a hasty attempt to save face, because this is what he always does in these situations, and the majority of his audience is stupid enough to buy it. And if I'm wrong, Josh, feel free to sue me. Also, you're a fake Christian, and that beard makes you look like a predator.